Are you enjoying wanting? Over the years, people have quibbled with us about that word because we really mean desire. But wanting, if you break it down in terms of what much of the world thinks about it, wanting means something still coming. In other words, you want for it because it hasn't come. And we've never been advocates of looking at it in that way because wanting and desire can be seen as the same thing but we want you to sort out for yourself what you mean when you want because if it's a pure desire then it's evolving you're taking pleasure in its evolution you're living life the way you intended in other words you have something that you're focused upon and by your focus upon it it is becoming more and more and more and more and more but if you are yearning for it, if you want it, but if your awareness of its absence or its slowness is stronger than your awareness of its becoming, then you're not in the most powerful place for receiving it, nor are you in the most pleasurable place to receive it. Yearning is uncomfortable. In fact, sometimes you desire things and you've been desiring them for a while and you have not seen the evidence of their becoming and so when you think about whatever it is that you desire you approach it from the this is hard this takes too long I don't know what's wrong what am I doing wrong and that's that yearning sort of wanting vibrational attitude that today it is our expectation that we will soothe within you because you are a vibrational being beautiful in your bodies but vibrational mostly vibrational completely you are vibrational beings and the law of attraction the manager of all things in this universe is responding to whatever your vibrational utterance is and as we visit with so many of our physical friends you are not usually that aware of what your vibrational utterance is you don't realize what you're doing because you're so accustomed to observing and responding to what you're observing that you are sort of we like you really a lot in fact we adore you but you are sloppy vibrational utterers it's what we call creating by default it's what we call knee jerking around you're responding to the way life is coming to you rather than controlling the way life is coming to you you're not setting the tone you're responding to the result of the tone you see what we're getting at it isn't a difficult thing to conceptually understand how your world is working how this universe works and how your life is working it's not very hard to understand once you get a handle on the fact that you are a vibrational being and that when you think a thought when you observe something when you remember something you are offering a vibrational oozing and that the universe is responding to it and what comes back to you matches it and so there are two ways of knowing what that radiation is oozing radiating dribbling utterance doesn't matter what you call it you are offering it all the time so as you're offering it, the universe is responding to it there are two ways for you to understand what's going on one we call pre-manifestational that's where you are aware of your mood and so you know if you are radiating something that you're gonna like when it gets here and the other is to wait till it gets here and we call one post manifestational and we call one pre manifestational and if we were standing in your physical shoes we would want to get a handle on what we're offering vibrationally which simply means you just have to understand your own mood you just have to understand how you feel and how you feel is because of this now we're just going to give this to you it's a big piece 
and it's an important piece and we're going to give it to you briefly because we know you mostly know this but you are more than these bodies you were not in physical energy before you came into these bodies and as the part of you that you think is you came into this body the part of you that most of you don't know is you stayed non-physically focused and is still aware of each and everything that you are focused upon we call that non-physical part of you your inner being and you whether you know it or not have an ongoing moment by moment relationship with that inner being you are an extension of it your co-creative partners with that inner being you're out here on the leading edge exploring contrast that your inner being doesn't explore you are a pioneer for the purpose of motion forward and your inner being is aware of you and is the stable part of that which is you so when you in your body explore some contrast and realize that you don't want that and therefore radiate a vibration ooze a vibration utter a vibration blast a vibration dribble a vibration it depends on how important it is to you of what you do want your inner being receives that request that determination and factors it into all that you are another way of saying that is you just became more because of the contrast you lived another way of saying it is we all just became more because of the contrast that you lived the universe just expanded now you may not think it is very important because you're just having an argument with the person you live with you might not think it's very important because you're throwing things at the television and shouting things into the atmosphere you don't think it's that important because it just feels like little old you having a little old moment in some little old contrast but every bit of it matters a lot every bit of it is radiated and is received and the universe expands and most important to you your inner being became more because of what you sifted through and decided about but now you have a new relationship with your inner being who just became more you ask for more money and your inner being is now more prosperous the vibrational essence of that which you are has just expanded and so now your relationship with your prosperity has changed because you just once again ask for more money the question is what are you doing with your day-to-day -day thoughts are you complaining and not having enough your inner being isn't are you focused upon not enough money your inner being isn't the relationship that you have with your expanding inner being has to do with how much like your inner being you are in any moment in time are you optimistic your inner being is are you pessimistic your inner being isn't are you loving your inner being is are you hateful your inner being isn't in other words you have a responsibility to yourself and it's really the only responsibility you have of being aware of this relationship and tending to it and no one's watching on no one's looking on in an attitude of you might be getting it wrong and therefore there's going to be trouble for you later that is not how it works the trouble is now and it's indicated by the negative emotion that you feel when you feel negative emotion it means you're not up to speed with what you have just become and because your inner being is up to speed with what you've just become you must be moving in the direction of that or you're going to feel the tension of pulling in opposition to what you have become does that make sense oh once you get that then everything makes sense to you most of you we love you so much but you care about what your neighbor thinks or about what your girlfriend thinks if you're smart <laughs> you care about what others think and while we have no contention with you being harmonious and looking for ways that you can be of value to each other you've got carried away with that you care so much about what others think and no two of them think the same thing so you're confused most of the time but more important in your caring about how you're matching up with them in your measurement of your harmony with another person you are neglecting your harmony with your own inner being and your own inner being 
harmony matters so much because that's the stream of your life force it's flowing to you all of the time but when you get in discord from your inner being you pinch off your own life force and the first evidence of the pinching off of that life force you can't really pinch it off even when you croak it's not pinched off you can't get discordant enough to really pinch it off but you can get discordant enough to make it really uncomfortable while you're pinching it off and so that's as bad as it's gonna get well that's not really true <laughs> negative emotion if you've got something going on and it doesn't feel good and you don't do something about relieving the tension don't worry it will get bigger <laughs> the tension will get bigger it will get bigger and the manifestations become more and more abundant and blatant about what your primary alignment or discord is with your inner being so look at it this way you're sorting and sifting and defining and deciding and launching rockets of desire and the universal forces the law of attraction your inner being is carrying forth with your creation so your creations are gathering together in this cooperative gathering we call it the vortex it's a vibrational reality where the beginnings of things are happening and as those creations become cooperative components with others you have what you want to call a future experience that we want to call a present tense experience but you don't want to call it present tense because you're not sensitive to the energy but we want to call it present tense because we are right smack dab in the middle of everything that you have become and once you've become it we never let go of it we are like a dog on a bone we never let go of the next request for abundance that you've offered we never let go of any piece of clarity that you're asking for once you ask for it it is given someone should write a book <laughs> once you ask it is given but you want to quibble about that okay it's given but where the hell is it I can't see it and we say that's because it's gestating and it's in the process of becoming and how long that gestation period takes how long it takes for these vibrations to turn to thoughts and these thoughts to turn to things so that you can witness the brilliance of your creation that has to do with your alignment with it so if you're aligning with problems they're showing up if you're aligning with things you want they're showing up because you get what you think about whether you want it or not we just want you to know that the things you want are tended by your inner being and the well-being of your life is huge it's enormous in comparison with the not well-being you have such a vibrational advantage because of the momentum of who you are as a creator coming into this body and because of your inner being who clicks only the things that you're asking for we want to help you to find more ways to focus in alignment with who you really are we want you by the time these hours have passed today we want you to know as we know the incredible power of non-resistant thought the incredible power of non-resistant thought